get this last time. Oh, I'm going to tap it. Okay. <laughs>um, whether or not someone's possessed right. or not, and whether or not an exorcism needs to take place. Right. Mm -hmm. um, one's a priest, uh, played by uh, Mike Coulter. Um, he plays David Acosta. He's like a priest in training. He's not like a full-fledged priest. But um, then you have the psychologist, Dr. Christian Bouchard, uh, played by actress Katya Herbers. Ka Ka I think I'm saying that right. I don't... And then you have like the tech guy. He like, you know, he does... The technology stuff. He's Ben. Um, ben. Played by Asif mm -hmm. Mandiva. I think I'm saying his name right. Anyway, so you have the, the, the priest in training um, who comes and she, he hires uh, a psychologist to get her perspective. And then you have the tech guy just to debunk things. So they deal with exorcism. They deal with um, hauntings. have the priest, of course, to see if he thinks that it is a possession. Then they have the psychologist to see if maybe it's something you more know, scientific. Yeah, more like mental a, health yeah, issue that's exactly. going on. Because yeah. it's funny because the two possession and mental health, they have the same issues. Right. Some mental health disorders. Right. Um, so it's hard to decipher between them. Yeah. And then they have the tech guy, of course, because they need to do a lot of recordings to actually see mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Makes sense? Yeah. Yeah. So the whole series is evolved around these three characters mm -hmm. and you get their different perspectives sometimes they they clash on on certain situations they get yeah. into but I think long, most times most times yeah because they all have their their beliefs mm -hmm. that they hold strong to I love I love the fact that they all stick to their yes their beliefs they you know and they have they have their their explanations on why things are happening oh, and Kristen is an atheist Oh, she is an atheist. So that's yeah. very interesting. She is an atheist. Mm -hmm. yep. And she remains an atheist throughout the whole, throughout the whole series thing. until maybe the very, very end. And then oh. maybe we don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's dope because she um, she has this family environment. She mm -hmm. has these four little girls. They're adorable. Oh my God, they're so cute. I don't want them, they, but it's so cute. <laughs> because they all talk at the same time. And it's so realistic. They touch on a lot of realistic things. Yeah. They touch on like... Stuff that's going on the internet, how you have predators mm -hmm. on the internet. Um, there's, you know, this episode where they, they deal with, like, the VR stuff. And they have these girls playing, like, this this game they shouldn't be playing. It's really not appropriate for their age, but they're playing it. Um, so they deal with that aspect of it. They deal with these little incel communities online. And yeah, well, I didn't even know about those I know since that. you were telling me about it. Yeah, the incel, so... Um, I'm not going to go into it, but it's just like, there's just naturally evil people. There's okay, people out there that like, just like to see messed up things happen to, to other people. And they go out of their way to make these things happen. They have a way with words. They can manipulate people into thinking one way. And uh, Yeah, I, I really, I really feel a void that it's over. Like I, it was, it was a dope really, series. Yeah. So another thing to um, Leland, Leland. There's a character, Leland. Oh, if you watch this, you're going to hate Leland. I mm -hmm. promise you that. I like Leland. I mean, you'll hate him for obvious reasons. But as a, you know, as a a character this, that's believable. This is me questioning my uh, decision oh. in life. You're going to hate Leland. Yeah. You're going to hate him. Yeah. Unless... Unless you're into satanic and demonic manipulation. Yeah, so it's so interesting because... 
watching you realize that some people are really easy to be manipulated. A lot of people to do persuaded. Things, yeah. yeah. And it's just like everyone it seems like there's so many people who are always like right on the tip right. of having like a breakdown. Right at the fork in the road. So that's another thing about it. So I think what he's doing, because he's a psychologist. He is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's taking these psychology patients. Yep. Right when they're like about to have a breakdown. Mm -hmm. And then he's bringing them to the dark side. Yeah. That's the only spoiler you're going to get from me. <laughs> it's categorized as a drama, right? So, I mean, it's kind of open-ended. I don't know if it's supernatural stuff. They have some stuff oh. in there. But they kind of explain everything away. They like explain telling, everything yeah. away, which is why I, why I really like it. But, okay. What did you like? I like Kristen's character. So I'm watching this and I'm thinking, okay, here's the little weak woman. Mm. But that ain't her. No. Uh, she's, Not at all. She turned real gangster. She did. Like, I was like, whoa. Okay, girl. I see you. You'd be surprised at what people do when you, like, threaten their Yeah, when they push, like, oh, yeah, I was like, okay, yeah. girl. Like, I didn't think she had it yeah, in yeah. her. That was a proud moment. It was. Yeah, yeah. I was happy for her. So, I really enjoyed that part of it. She like, ain't no punk. She, she ain't no punk. Yeah. Um, I also enjoyed the fact that they had they had her struggling with her attraction to the priest, but not the priest being attracted to her. Right, yeah. Because usually it's always the man lusting mm -hmm. after the woman. Mm -hmm. His faith was challenged um, throughout the series. Though. Yeah, constantly. Constantly challenged. I love Ben. Ben was so great. Was he was dope. like the comic relief. Ben was real dope. Yeah. yeah. Even though he wasn't really like funny funny. He was just like, you just, just liked dry. him. Yeah. 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 He was just... Just a dry sense of humor. Yeah. He's just like, you know, you wasn't going to get him excited about nothing. I don't think he smiled in one episode. Yeah, but I liked him. Yeah, I don't know. he didn't smile. He didn't. He was just you like. You know what it is? I like yeah. assholes. He's a bit of an asshole. Oh, you do? What I kind of liked and kind of didn't like, so I guess it's like in the middle, um, was, I guess, oh, well, it's network TV. What, do you know what, what station it was on? CBS. Okay, so it's on CBS. So it's yeah. network TV. CBS, yeah. Um, so it can't be too dark, you know. But yeah, they had like some like humorous parts of it. Mm -hmm. Like anything that was supposed to be scary wasn't like really scary. Right. It was also humorous. You said it best when you said it kind of reminded you of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, the scary the the demon. She would have these dreams of just this dude would appear every night. Yeah, and his name was George. <laughs> Like, and he looked like George, like yeah. a demon George. And he looked, he looked scary. He looked like a scary dude. But then when he talked, it was yeah. like, Wait, I don't know if you guys are Freddy Krueger fans, but if you remember, like Freddy used to talk a gang of trash. You know what's funny about that is that even though Freddy Krueger talked trash to you and he made all those jokes, yeah, yeah. It, it it didn't dilute his scariness. Yeah. So that's probably what people won't like. They'll be like, oh, these things are so corny. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like the dreams and stuff. This is corny. It's like I not liked serious. It. I liked it. I enjoyed yeah. it. I didn't mind. I didn't really mind it, but I could see where it could be like scarier, I guess. Or, yeah. But I liked it and I didn't like it. Like I, you know, it depends on what you're in the mood for. But would Sydney you really like about this series? I didn't like the father. So the father. He can kick rocks. The father was like just <laughs> mentioned. <laughs> For like the first half of the whole series, he was just talked about because he was like a mountain instructor. Mm -hmm. And he was like off in Tibet or somewhere, you know, instructing. And um, meanwhile, like, yeah, you're right. I didn't like this one because it's, it's very unrealistic. If you have four children mm -hmm. with someone, one of those kids is possibly ill. Terminally ill. Terminally ill. Yeah. So her heart valves is not connecting properly, so... You know, the doctor's not giving her too much to live. Like, she could die at any moment. Right. So I'm going to leave. I'm going to leave my family. I'm going to leave my wife to fend for herself with four kids. And I'm going to just go out here and, and train these people on how to, you know. For three months. Climb rocks, climb mountains. He eventually comes back. And, uh, you know, all the girls are excited to see him except for the oldest, the oldest daughter. She's just like, you know. I guess you do. Whatever, dude. Yeah. yeah but, no. um. He gets back. He gets back into the family structure. Like he, he, he gets, gets into back your in. good grace. I was still like, not my good grace because like, I'll never, so I'll never understand it. Selfish. Like yeah. I don't even want my husband going for three minutes. Uh huh. 
three oh. hours. So I'm gonna say so do it. No, no, no. I, I, no. It's not about. I'm talking about with the kids. She got four kids, and we have two. And yeah. like to be going for three months. That's a lot. Yeah, like three months alone with your children yeah. in the house by yourself. Yeah. Ooh. And we she forgot got about fired. That. We forgot about that. Yeah, she lost her job. Then she, she found a new job. job. We forgot about the mama. Oh yeah, the mama ain't. Mama, you know, mama ratchet. She was, she was ratchet. She was definitely ratchet. She was Yeah. But, you know, she took care of her grandbabies, though. She was she at least did. there. She, she showed did. up. Whenever she was called, she showed up. She did. You know, it, get, yo, it, it gets real tricky, like all the different relationships. You know, you got Dr. Bashar's relationship with David until her husband comes home. Then, you know, it all shifts back to the world. But there was no moment. romantical. There was no romantical stuff. But yeah. she had these no. dreams and these desires. I think because she was lonely because she was by herself for, for three, three months, months. And right. this was, was someone natural, that was right. there for her. What I did like about this series, to go back onto what we like, mm -hmm. is it was kind of like supernatural -ish. You know, the TV show Supernatural. Right. Where like every episode had like its own it different, different storyline. Yeah. But then it all tied in. It all made sense. Mm -hmm. um, so, would you recommend this? I would Seriously. recommend it, yeah. I would recommend it. I would, re I would even recommend it for, you know, our friends that don't like watching scary stuff. This is not really, not scary yeah. at all. But I can see how, you know, people wouldn't want to watch a show called Evil. Yes. Nobody yeah. wants to, nobody That's just true. wants to tap into that. But if you're looking for, like, a show to, like, terrify you, yeah. this ain't it. No, nah, this ain't it at all. No. But you do, I really love... That they have, they they provide those three different perspectives. You mm -hmm. have the church perspective, you have the psychologist perspective, and then you got the tech guy that's there, and he debunks stuff as well. He debunks a lot of things um, during the course of the series. So yeah, he's Muslim. He is Muslim. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, and so you get to see his his uh, his family and uh, his his religious beliefs and stuff. And yeah, that. So, Muslim, Catholic, and atheist. Yep, yeah, it's dope. It was a dope series, man. So y'all check that out. That's gonna conclude our review, right? You got I anything think else? So. That's gonna conclude our review, so man. We recommend it. So we recommend it. Yes, but not if you're looking for something terrifying. This is not a terrifying. No. Um, not if you're looking for something terrifying. This is not a terrifying series. No. This is a. It's a drama. It? It's a drama. That's all you're gonna get out of this. It's just a drama, drama field. Um, but it's a dope, it's a dope little ride. I, I think really you'll like appreciate that. it. Yeah. Can't wait for season two, and it just got renewed for season two. So. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks for watching, guys. This is the Karoo View. Um, be sure to like, share, subscribe, leave mm -hmm. a comment, hit that notification bell, and uh, we'll see you guys soon, man. Hope everything's well, all right? Peace.